Hi, I'm Christopher Ajia from the University of Toronto, and I'm joined by my colleague Ron Chen from Huawei's Noah's Ark Lab. And today we're presenting S3CNet, a sparse semantic scene completion network for ladder point clouds. We'll start off with a light introduction to the topic of semantic scene completion. After a brief overview of S3CNet, we'll touch upon each major component listed below. We'll follow this up with results and discussion about future work. So what is our task? In semantic scene completion, our objective is to acquire a complete geometric and semantic understanding of our environment. That is to jointly predict the volumetric occupancy and class category labels. We aim to do this from a single LiDAR scan. Challenges include dealing with sparsity of LiDAR scans, how to best capture the dependencies between geometric and semantic information, and how to propose an efficient solution in terms of both computation and memory. In this work, we aim to move a step closer towards real-time resource-constrained operation. Modern approaches typically feature end-to-end -end setups and train a deep 3D ComNet to complete the scene from a depth image. Song created the Sun CG benchmark for small indoor scale scenes, upon which many iterations of her work were developed, some of which incorporate early and late fusion techniques from features extracted from color images. While these methods are effective in indoor scenes, scaling to the complexities of large outdoor environments is non-trivial. When applied to the Semantic Kitty SSC benchmark, the accuracy and efficiency of these methods decrease substantially. For one, the LiDAR data is sparse and is not feature rich. This renders dense 2D convolutions insufficient and dense 3D convolutions wasteful since the majority of the 3D volume is in fact empty. Is there a performative solution to these problems? We introduce our full system pipeline. Here's a run through. We start off with two sparse tensor representations of our scene. One is composed of 3D pointwise features and the other of 2D bird's eye view features. These inputs are passed through their corresponding S3CNET variants to predict a preliminary 3D semantic scene completion sparse tensor and a 2D bird's eye view semantic image. We use the results of the 2D predicted semantic image to further complete the 3D scene through a dynamic filling algorithm. Last but not least, we top it off with 3D spatial propagation refinement module to obtain our final semantic scene completion. Encoding the input sparse tensor with the right features is crucial for our task since the point clouds lack features in the raw form. Assigned distance field is the usual way to differentiate free, occupied, and occluded space of the environment. While it is typically computed from dense depth maps, we emulate this process through a range map acquired via spherical projection. To mitigate noise, we first apply a depth completion algorithm to the range map, and then compute a prospective flipped TSDF. Note that input sparsity is maintained by only keeping the coordinates within a preset truncation boundary of the known occupied voxels. Additionally, we utilize pointwise normal features as a geometric feature encoding computed on the range map and back project these to the corresponding points in 3D space. We acquire the final sparse tensor. To process our sparse sensors, we build our networks using the Minkowski engine, an auto differentiation library that supports sparse tensor operations. Below is the 3D variant of S3CNet. It's built off four primary components. Each encode block contains a sparse version of the squeeze reweight layer with a residual connection and a context aggregation module which reduces sensitivity to dropout noise by aggregating local neighborhood information. The dilation block contains an atrius spatial pyramid pooling module, which drastically increases the receptive field of the network without the need for much pooling. Decode blocks feature sparse deconvolutional layer which upsamples coordinates around existing ones to complete the scene. However, not all generated coordinates are part of the true completed scene. And hence we introduce pruning modules, which act as a binary occupancy classifier in each scale space. Pruning of redundant coordinates is trained with ground truth occupancy targets that are generated at four scales. And finally, we have our spatial propagation refinement block, which will be further explained. Due to heavy sparsity in distant regions or cases of occlusion, the predicted 3D scene may contain gaps or semantic labels that are just inconsistent. The effect of sparsity in 2D space is far less significant. We develop a dynamic 2D to 3D algorithm that expresses the predicted 3D tensor as a stack of bird's eye view images and attempts to fill in each empty voxel with the corresponding semantic prediction label in the 2D image for the desired classes. The spatial propagation network is then applied as a final semantic refinement step and promotes consistent predictions based on surrounding voxels. As we can see in this example, the spatial propagation network has refined the semantic labels of inconsistent regions in the original tensor. 
We also propose a loss function that's better suited for the task of semantic scene completion. It contains two terms, the first being a completion term, which is simply the voxel-wise binary cross-entropy loss over the ground truth occupancy targets. The second term is a geometric aware segmentation loss, which accounts for the structure of a voxel's local cubic neighborhood. The MLGA term is a discrete smoothness promoting signal, which is scaled down or up by eta, the local volumetric gradient, to account for predictions in non-homogeneous regions when the local arrangement of classes is structured. The inclusion of each term is further motivated in the paper. Our quantitative results demonstrate strong performance. We achieve a mean IOU score that is an approximate 29.5% improvement over the previous leading method and a stunning 66% over the baseline method. Here, we illustrate a trajectory of our model's predictions in real driving scenes. Thank you for listening.